Hi guys, welcome to LDFS. I'm Dr. Lakshmi. Today's video, we will be continuing our earlier uh, how to work in Dubai and what are the different steps for that. I hope you watched my earlier video. If you haven't watched that, the link is there in the description below. Kindly watch that so that you'll understand this video better. In my earlier video, we have discussed about uh, how there's a test, self-assessment test which we can, we, we can fill up the form. It's totally free of cost. So we can understand whether we are eligible to work as a dentist or as a consultant, et cetera, in the Dubai area. Now, there are after releasing this video, there were a few questions. I would like to address two questions mainly. First is, few people ask me uh, that they want to work as consultant in Dubai. They don't want to settle here, but, but work as a consultant in Dubai. So is that possible? Yes, there are people who are working as consultant here, but what is the eligibility and all, you have to check it in the self-assessment test. So when you are applying or you're filling up the form for the self-assessment test, there is an option of what position are you applying for. In that, you can uh, fill well, like uh, you want to work as a consultant. And in that, when you fill the other details, your work experience, etc., you will understand whether you are eligible to work as a consultant in Dubai. So this was the first doubt which people had. There was second doubt is, what do I mean by Emirates? Is Dubai um, a country, a city? What is it like? So let me just brief you about it. UAE is a country. It has around seven cities, major cities, which is known as Emirates. These One of these seven cities or emirates is Dubai. So to practice in Dubai, there is an exam known as DHA exam. Every city has a different set of rules. Health regulatory um, authority they'll have and the rules will be different. So if uh, I'll just give you an example. One of the another city in the UAE emirate is Sharjah. To practice in Sharjah, we need MOH exam uh, license. And to practice in Dubai, we need DHA exam license. So it's different for different cities. If you, in today's videos and my um, future videos, we'll be talking about only Dubai. And other Emirates, it has similar ones. The process is approximately similar, but the exam and everything is a little different. So you may have to visit their website to know more. So if for Dubai, we need to have a DHA license. So that is what we are talking about in these series of videos. Okay, I hope your doubts are clear. Even if you have more doubt, kindly feel free to message me on WhatsApp or you can um, comment on the this video itself. We will try to solve it as much as possible from our side. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so that it will reach as many dentists as possible and it may help so many people who are actually looking for these answers. Thank you so much in advance for doing it. So now let's proceed with today's video. In my earlier video, I'll just brief it. We had filled a form known as self-assessment test. It was free of cost in that we understood that we are eligible for uh, licensing of Dubai. Now let's proceed to the next step. That step is known as data flow. Now let me first um, help you understand what is data flow. So data. So data flow is a third party which is hired by the Dubai Authority, so that that third party, the data flow, they can check our uh, all the certificates and all. Which all certificates am I talking about? The degree certificate, the license certificate, your work experiences, everything. They'll check all these certificates. They'll go back to the council and everywhere. The, the, if you have worked in a private clinic, they'll uh, you know have uh, contact with them. And then the, all the uh, authenticity of the certificates will be established. And then the data flow company will give you a result. And that result is needed, is required by the Dubai authority so that they can give you the license. So it's basically Dubai authority ko wo help karta hai to understand 
हमारा लाइसेंस हमारा जो सर्टिफिकेट्स है वो कितना करेक्ट है ऑथेंटिक है कि नहीं सो दैट इज वॉट द डेटा फ्लो डस ओके आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस What all certificates are required is degree certificate, your work experiences, um, license certificate. Um, then there is something known as good standing certificate. So good standing certificate is a certificate which is provided by your state wherever you have registered. So for me, for example, I have registered in Karnataka State Dental Council. So the Karnataka State Dental Council will provide me good standing certificate. so this good standing certificate has a expiry date so it has around 3 month of expiry on it so now this 3 um, month of expiry is there on the good standing certificate so always remember if you are uh, giving for the data flow you have to provide the current running uh, i mean you have to just check the expiry before submitting the good standing certificate this is something which you should remember okay so now let's proceed further and let us go back to and log into our dh account and see how the data flow works okay so as discussed earlier i'm using firefox here for some reason in the chrome the site is very slow so i would recommend you to use a firefox now let's proceed further let's log in okay so this is your account here let's move it click on this there will be some initials over here we have it's jt written just try we have written so uh, the jt is coming yours will be something different according to any go to my applications in my applications click on the closed ones you will see the result of the self assessment too so the result is coming over here the cost was zero now just click on the arrow link okay now here is the result of that so you are eligible for the licensing now we have to click on the get registered when you click on the get registered you will see something like this so there are some steps like document verification document verification process is known as data flow okay so in this your education your experiences work experiences Uh, your license exam uh, licensing uh, sorry certificate your that is the registration certificate and the good standing certificate these all are required okay so now let's move ahead click on this i confirm paying for the verification and go to data flow now here we have to create a new login id for the data flow so this is a data flow website okay so here we can check what is the status of it um, um which all licensing are clear which all sorry certificates are cleared and all those details will get to so let's create this login first okay new user sorry so register here okay click on this click on the applicant name just try There is some DHA unique ID. Okay, so this, if you go back to your this um, the DHA website, you will get your DHA unique ID. This ID is created over here. Just copy paste that, and then click on register. okay so now it is thank you for registering to the data flow we have sent you an activation link in the registered email id so so as we read uh, they have sent us the activation mail let's check our mail so this is the mail which came from the data flow uh it is saying that welcome to the dha authority primary source verification psv is the primary source verification that means which all documents which we are uploading they will verify those document from the source from where it is sent 
let's suppose you have uploaded a document or work experience document from ABC clinic. They will search that clinic, send them mail or contact them in whatever method, and then uh, try to find the authenticity of the document which we have uploaded. Okay, so that is known as primary source verification. So the data flow, uh, so we'll be doing the primary source verification and the DHA will be using the data flow result. Now to access your uh, account, click here. Mm, then, okay, and then here note, they have written that PSV fees must be settled within 24 hours in order to avoid the termination of your application. So PSV fees is there, there's a data flow fees which we pay them to get our documents verified. And that should be paid once we create the, upload the documents and everything within 24 hours so that our application is not rejected. Okay, so now uh, let's go access our account. So when you click on it, you'll get something like this. Uh, we, we earlier we had used the register here thing. Now we have already been registered, so we just have to log in. Now there's something else also here which I want to tell you is this video. This video is very useful. It's very good. The it is given by the DHA itself, the, by the data flow company itself. They have uh, broken down this whole process into different steps and have explained nicely how and each step and what we should do. Uh, Please watch it before you are proceeding with the filling up the form because it is really helpful. Okay, so now let's log in. The unique ID you will get in the um, login page of your DHA. If you are not able to find it, I will just uh, show you where you can find that um, unique ID. I have just explained earlier. I will just explain it again to you. So just go into the DHA website. Yeah, you just have to log in. Log in with DHA account. Once we log in, uh, go to individual home, go to the health licensing service. Once you click on that, you'll be directed to a page like this. Click on this profile icon, go to my application. Here also you got the DHA ID. See if you click over here, the DHA ID is already there. So you can just copy paste this thing. Click on the not robot and login. <clears throat> so once this is logged in, you will see something like this. So here you have to give your uh, maiden name if their gender, identity card number. So for me, uh, there was no identity card from the UAE which was given at that time. There's Emirates ID, like we have Aadhaar card, they have Emirates ID. So I didn't have that at that time. So what I did was I uploaded my Aadhaar card over here. You can do that. They accept it. And the country of birth, select the country, passport issuing country, passport expiry, you know, all those details of your passport. And other than that, there's a mobile number. You can add India number also over here and generate an SMS code. Basically, they'll contact you for any uh, purpose. Other than that, you have to upload a clear copy of your passport page. So here you have to upload a clear copy of your passport page. If it's not clear, they'll reject it at that time itself. And they let, um, let ask us to upload another copy. So just upload a clear copy of your passport. And after that, just save and continue. When you click on save and continue, I can't do that right now because I don't have the passport and over here, my passport has already been submitted. So um, after you save and move ahead, you can see, um, um, you can see. You can see a page where they will ask you to um, upload all the other documents like the degree certificate, whatever documents we need to get it attested, not attested, get it uh, approved from. We have to up 
explored all those documents, the work experiences, everything, the license, everything, all those the uh, application, um, sorry, all those documents has to be uploaded. Now with the thing when we are uploading, uh, there will be details asked, like the issuing authorities name, what was the to and from date, uh, all those details. We have to enter all those details. Sometimes uh, we don't have the exact date, right? Sometimes in our, um, maybe the licensing or the work experiences, they will say that we have worked in that clinic till December, 2015. Just an example. So you can write the date, whatever, in the December. Like what, what I used to do is if it's December 2015, if it's there, then I would write 31st uh, December 2015. And my next will, next whatever the work experience is, it will start from whatever month, the first month. So like that, we can do it. It's a normal thing. So you can do that. Uh, so that's something when we upload the document. So just be careful when you are uploading the document and entering all the details. This is something very important in this step. When you are uploading, check your documents in, in between and see what it is, the month and date and everything should be correct. Okay, so that's something which is very important in this. And uh, now let's go ahead with the data flow and understand there are different types of data flow. So basically when you enter these details and go into uh, enter the passport and all those things, you will be directed to a page where uh, you would be asked to give a letter of authorization. A letter of authorization earlier, they asked us to print out and then sign it and then upload it. But right now it's online. So we just have to click that we approve and give authorize them to check our details. So that is something, the letter of authorization. So that is something which we have to do it. After that, we have to create a case. There will be an option where we have to create a case. What do you mean by create, uh, creating a case means we have the prop, uh, sort of like an application. We are creating an application. So they use the term case over there. So creating a case where we will upload our documents and accordingly we have to do the payment. So the payment depends upon the number of documents you have, number of um, uh, total number of documents, like the work experience, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They have different categories for that. So usually for a general dentist, it is around 1,200 something. So that is 1,200 uh, dirhams I'm talking about, okay? So in Indian rupee, it is around 25,000 rupees, around roughly. So that is the amount which we have to pay them before the data flow uh, case, they'll start the verification process, okay? So this is only for the data flow. The payment and the fees is only for the data flow process. Usually they say 15 to 20 days, but uh, always expect it will take more than one month. One or two months is something which is usual, which I have also um, experienced and also few of my colleagues and friends have also experienced the same amount of time. So keep aside one or two months for the data flow process to get completed. <clears throat> now, another thing is uh, once the data flow and everything is done, next step will come is, well, next step which is there is the examination step. Okay, so before we proceed to that, in the next video, we will be sharing with you everything, the, what we have to study as a general dentist, how was my experience, I'll tell you about that. And um, there's one surprise element also, the surprise gift in the next video. I hope you liked today's video. If you have any doubt, kindly let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and share and subscribe and send us a hi on this number, we'll add you to our WhatsApp special broadcast list. Thank you so much, guys. Until next time, bye.